Today we would like to present a rocket simulation model, which is uh, divided into three parts. First part is the parametric analysis of one stage rocket uh, and uh, descent trajectory. Second part is the parachute uh, uh, descent uh, and the size of parachute and then trade study on the uh, size of the parachute based on the speed of the descent and uh, the uh, distance uh, uh, of the descent and then the third one is the behavior simulation with the time step of the three-stage rocket uh, when we are uh, uh, tracking the trajectory and uh, burn uh, of the fuel and uh, you can find in this sample uh, everything pretty much what uh, re relates to the simulation in SysML, including the structure behaviors, uh, uh, instances, trait studies, uh, and uh, user interface. Uh, here we see the third sample, which uh, includes the uh, mission of the rocket, as you can see, burn steps, right? Uh, stages and we can simulate that here with the time step is this uh, uh, 10 uh, 100 milliseconds so one tenth of the second we can track acceleration velocity attitude drag so you can see here current acceleration it has those drops because of the stages velocity also has those jumps because of the burns of the stages first second third stage and then we see altitude has those you see unequal qualities here because of the again uh, altitude is increasing but the stages uh, creates that uh, unequal increase then force here and the drag right and then we see also here descent right and uh, all of that we can track in this final project simulation now you see the finalization and soon it will reach the earth and will stop simulation so now let's go to the model step by step and uh, uh, first model is actually parametric analysis it's introduction so single state rocket sml uh, parametric analysis uh, and uh, the reason here why we show it is because it is the basics right uh, simulation of parametric diagram uh, equations operations and math engine uh, demonstration debugging complex parametric diagrams uh, as you can see here we have a rocket stage uh, single stage rocket uh, which has single stage body engine and some constraints for, of equations here we see the instance model saved as a result of simulation with the initial values and uh, it uses the parametric diagrams as you can see here to perform initial performance analysis of a, a rocket and uh, we have those inputs you see here engine mass engine thrust impulse burn time and uh, we calculate altitude at engine burnout, uh, cross distance after engine burnout, uh, total max altitude, cost time, and maximum velocity. So for the first one, we are running here, you see. We can execute this, and then we track, uh, because we have no user interface, right? So we have, we can track here those parameters. So you can see here we have max altitude, uh, coastal distance, uh, and those are uh, you see units using ISO units library, boost altitude, uh, time in seconds, almost six seconds, total mass and uh, max velocity. So this is pure parametric uh, analysis. So we have the structure here and you see in this main structure block, we are creating parametric uh, constraints, uh, which are tying those value properties to get final results you see here those final results max altitude total time now the second model is uh, taking uh, the initial model this one of the single stage rocket 
and it's of two stages. First stage is actually determining what are the characteristics of the parachute to be able to descend in the with the right velocity. And then the next one is actually using this parachute to see how far we will fly uh, pushed by the wind with this type of parachute, right? So the, we will do trade study. So first step first, so we have here parachute analysis block. It has parametric diagram here to calculate uh, the size of the parachute to get uh, max distance velocity of three meters per second. So here we can run it, simulation you see run. And we get uh, uh, we get uh, diameter. You see, this is the characteristics of the parachute which we get, and there are different types of parachutes. So uh, drag coefficient is different for different type of parachute, depending on the type. As you can see, flat sheet uh, we are using here or doom parachute 1.5. Right? Uh, we can see that characteristics would change. And this pure parametric analysis here. Then the second step is actually to take this parachute and use it inside of the rocket. Again, the same rocket model. Just now it has a parachute, right? And then we are calculating uh, model two. You can run this from here, right click simulation run. Uh, even with configuration, you see we can choose configuration or we can run from here. And then we are calculating what would be the descent velocity. So we see that uh, that's max descent velocity. Then we see the actual descent velocity. You see this is too high, right? Based on those parachute characteristics. And then we sh see actual drag distance. It is in the limit. This max drag distance is uh, 500 meters. And this one to 223, but it's uh, going too fast. Now, now what we will do as a last step in this simulation is actually we are going to create an instance table. And when we are creating instance table, we are using uh, same uh, block what you saw here, this uh, from here, select and containment tree here, this one. And uh, we are going to use it inside of instance table here as the classifier and then we are going to create uh, new instances so create with parts you see now we get new instance and then we can input the initial data like uh, parachute characteristics uh, and then get results those results are coming as a uh, uh, descent uh, velocity you see and also coming as a uh, drift distance so the drift distance uh, if it is less than 500, we have constraint which compares, uh, we have pass and if we have a descent velocity less than three meters per second, also this configuration will pass. And then we run, uh, and then we can actually do like this, for example, we can copy all this uh, configuration, copy, paste, uh, just, let's take just data. paste so we can copy this copy paste and then this will be calculated and now we can change uh, initial characteristics for example parachute diameter we can put it uh, like bigger one right so for example 0, 06 diameter and see what will happen and now we can run the simulation and we can run the, again with the this configuration, second configuration with all the configurations here, right? So we can just take that and run config. So it goes one by one, inputs the values to the to the block and then calculates. And you see here, the send velocity is the least here because uh, the parachute size was bigger and the distance is still okay. It's almost 500, you see, because the Again, parachute size was the biggest one, as you see here, 0 0.6 uh, diameter, uh, 0 0.6 uh, meters. And um, now we do the trade study like that. So maybe 
this configuration is the best because it is still in the limit and the parachute in the distance is uh, the uh, the least right uh, but we can decide right so this should be another criteria to decide right uh, uh, just those two might not give enough information to decide we need objective function to d do that okay so now what we have here is the third model the third model is actually with the behavior and also the structure is three stage rocket so each stage has uh, its own uh, body its own engine and the parameters right and then parachute right for the descent right and also we have uh, uh, we have rocket uh, mission states right you see uh, first stage burn coast uh, eject uh, second one burn coast eject third one burn coast and then descent phase and then uh, and uh, land landed phase and uh, each phase has behaviors those behaviors are modeled uh, in the activity diagram to burn the fuel and calculate the trajectory we can see them here example stage one we are looking into the properties of each of the blocks you see those activity uh, uh, actions are reading the properties and then calculating the burn uh, characteristics and updating the trajectory based on the uh, rocket previous uh, characteristics so we are increasing the time and recalculating again and again and switching to the coast and then switching to eject and doing the calculations here too you see and uh, the final step is then sending signal to switch to another state and uh, here now we can run the simulation and this simulation as you can see here we can run no ui right so if you just run no ui we just track uh, the um, uh, acceleration altitude and velocity and in that case, when we are running no UI, we are responsible to actually trigger here rocket uh, states. And we can do it uh, from this window here, or we can just do directly ignite. You see, we are igniting, and then we can track how the rocket uh, is flying through all the states. So this was no UI, then we have telemetry silent. So this is uh, with UI, but no animation. So this is like final setup of the simulation when we don't need animation because we don't want to slow down. And we run it here, you see, and just track the uh, results of analysis. We can speed up, slow down uh, the simulation by changing characteristics in the simulation configuration. You can find those configurations in each of the package uh, here for example for model 3 simulation package here you will find uh, simulation configs right for example telemetry silent uh, and then there is uh, time properties which specify delay steps delay so you can specify delay which would be like uh, zero or uh, 10 times slower than actual step size and that will uh, run the simulation fast and the last one with the with animation so this means that a diagram animation is included uh, and again this one this is specified here in this uh, simulation config uh, uh, you see silent falls right uh, and then animation speed here so we can also do this here for example silent but here you see silent true and that uh, removes the animation from the diagram so the third one as you saw already we ignite and we fly we track the acceleration and on all the other telemetry during this mission so this model is actually uh, educational model it's based on real equations but uh, 
uh, it's not uh, showing how to do the MBSC modeling uh, project uh, based on methodology, but it's showing how to do the analysis based on existing uh, model structure. And uh, you can adjust this analysis for your specific needs and uh, it can come as a reference model to do this fast and then reuse the results. And uh, with this model also we provide the slides as you can see here for the first model introduction to the rocket uh, simulation and then the second model the parachute uh, characteristics and then the third model with the behavior analysis and uh, three-stage rocket with the rocket flight fright profile and all the behavior characteristics and parametric analysis and uh, recalculation of every time step and then transitioning of the coordinates and then the telemetry analysis.